Hey everyone, how's it going? I decided to make a vlog today because, I mean, I've been really sick for the past five days. And when I say really sick, I mean over 103 temperature. Uh, which actually finally went, started to go back to normal yesterday. But I've still been coughing really badly. So, I mean, I have to take it easy until the cough is completely gone. Because the doctor said that when the fever breaks and the cough goes away, whichever happens last, after that you can go out back into the real world. So I mean, it's a good thing I was on spring break, even though I missed my entire spring break being sick. I mean, it wasn't all bad. Uh, I was home alone for the first three days, which was kind of terrible. The way I pronounced that was really weird. It was terrible because I had to get up and do stuff on my own. Which, every time I'd leave the blankets, would make me violently shiver due to the cold. And then when I'd get back under the covers, I would start to shiver violently for another minute. And then I would just start sweating because it was too hot under the blankets. But I couldn't leave the blankets or I'd start freezing again, and it was one of those really vicious cycles like that. And actually, that started Saturday night at 11pm, just out of nowhere. Just started... I had a headache, I started coughing, and I had huge issues sleeping. I can't talk today, apparently. But, um, what happened was, I went to sleep about 11 o'clock, and I woke up with a massive headache, not even an hour later. So I went back to sleep. Another hour later, I'm awake. Fell back to sleep another hour later, I'm awake. And that kept going on until about 3 o'clock p.m. when I came upstairs and fell asleep on the couch where I am right now. And have been for the past few days. Because I didn't want to go back downstairs. I don't know why. I guess mainly because I was really lightheaded and walking was a bit of an issue because my legs were really not feeling it. So that was all going on. Uh, <clears throat> my stomach was starting to reject foods. Like, I had ramen and chicken noodle soup one one day, both, for lunch and dinner. And after I had the chicken noodle soup, my stomach was like, Nope, I will throw this back up if you try to feed me any more of this. Go ahead, try, I dare you. So I could not finish the chicken noodle soup, because my stomach was daring me to do it. And my temp was still 103 that day. So the next day, which was actually Tuesday at this point, I believe. Because Sunday I'd started feeling sick. Monday I had tried eating the chicken noodles. No. Tuesday was chicken noodle soup. And that was also the day... No. Let me get this in order. Yes, Tuesday was chicken noodle soup. Monday, I was able to eat cereal and stuff and keep it down, no problem. Still had no idea what was wrong. So that brings us to Wednesday. On Wednesday, I still had a very high temperature, so my mom's like, alright, you know what? We're going to the urgent care room. We need to know what this is right now. So, we go into the urgent care room. I tell them what's wrong. The doctor does all the, the checks to see what it could be. They're like, yeah, you have pneumonia we can hear it in your lungs. I was like, a little confused by it, and then the doctor's like, when someone has pneumonia, you can tell where the clump of the virus is because you can either hear little to no sound, or you hear a lot of crinkling, cr or cracking sounds. And that's very weird. I mean, I, I had no idea you could hear pneumonia inside someone's lungs. That's... It's weird. I mean, when you think of it, it's like, it would make sense that you would be able to hear something. But at the same time, it's like, how would you be able to tell that from the different sounds that you're hearing? But then when the doctor explained that you could either hear a crackling sound or little to no sound, I'm like, well, I guess that makes sense. That that would be a way to analyze it. So the doctor asked me to have a student who was studying, who was interning there, come in, and I'm like, sure, why not? Because anytime I'm in the doctor's office... 
And there's a student there that's like, hey, do you mind if I, or the doctor's like, hey, I have a student here, would you mind if I have him going? I'm like, I don't care, it's no big deal. Because, I mean, I'm a college student, I mean, if I was interning somewhere, I'd want to go see what's up. And, I mean, if they were like, no, I'd be like, oh, well, okay, I guess I'll just go back to doing whatever I'm doing as an intern here. But, I mean, anytime you can help out another, like, help out a student, I'm just like, yeah, why would I mind? It's fine. And so the student came in and found the exact same readings. Found the exact same thing in the exact same spot, so I'm like, great. It's definitely confirmed. So I've been stuck on the couch literally all week, coughing up what feels like a lung. Probably the right one. Um, so it's been a great spring break. Yeah. Although I have been on the couch watching YouTube videos and Netflix all weekend. So, I mean, it's not all bad. And by weekend, I mean week. So it's not all bad. But it's just the whole coughing part and having pneumonia that's kind of the big deal. Uh, I've had my cats around all week, so, I mean, it's been weird just being home for the whole week. Not able to go anywhere or do anything because you're sick. I've never been sick on a spring, on a, any kind of holiday, actually. I've always been healthy for those. So, I mean, I really hate this feeling. And the fact that it came on so suddenly, like, it literally happened out of nowhere, just kind of upsets me. But, um, yeah, that's, well, I mean, probably should have been writing my essays I have due in class, but, I mean... What with all the hacking up a lung and everything, I'm just like, writing an essay is not on my to-do list. It's kind of way down at the bottom, below taking Tylenol, cold, and flu. Yeah. So I probably should get on those essays, but I'm probably not going to until I know I'm better. And the doctor said, yeah, might not be yourself for a couple weeks. So you might not feel like doing anything. I pretty much sat there and thought, how is that different from how I am right now? I don't want to write essays or do anything. I'm a college student. I was really happy because last week, on a Thursday, I was supposed to have class. Studied all night Wednesday for a midterm I was supposed to have that day. Cancelled for an inch of snow. So my spring break actually started Wednesday of last week. I was pretty happy about that. And then on Saturday night I got sick. It was great. A whole three days. <coughs> Perfect timing. So I was just about ready to end the video and I was going to say I haven't coughed this entire video. But, you know, can't have nice things, including this vlog. So, I mean, I guess that's really it. I'm not dead. That's a plus. I'm getting better. It's a plus. My temperature's actually back to normal. It's a plus. The cough isn't as severe as it was. That's a plus. I have two days left of my pills, including tonight, which is a plus. Uh, so, guess I'm going to be kicking this within the next few days, hopefully. Hopefully not on Monday, because I kind of have a psych methods class that I don't really care for. The teacher talks about interesting things, but the way she talks about them is just boring. Like, you know how you have the teacher that tries to talk about really exciting things, but just their voice is like, Really? I know you're trying, but it's just not coming across that way. It's one of those teachers. So you try really hard to listen, but you just can't focus on their voice because it makes you want to fall asleep. It's one of those teachers. So yeah, that's it for this vlog. I just wanted to update and let you guys know what's going down and why, well, it's not really why I haven't been posting anything. just haven't been in the right mindset to post anything. But past few days has been because I have had pneumonia, and I wanted to let you guys know that I'm getting better. And show you guys I'm still alive.
Although my Twitter feed probably shows I'm still alive, because it's like 80 plus tweets. Uh, so I'll see y'all later, and I'll catch you in the next video. If you guys in, well, I can't say enjoy this one, because it's all about me being sick. But I hope you guys enjoyed hearing from me, I guess, I can say. See y'all later, I guess.